Okay, so let's continue with the summit group and how we're editing this website and how I'm editing the website making changes here. So um, basically one of the things I want to start by doing is getting rid of this uh, blue that's in the back and it's just kind of standard it comes with um, the site. So click here under themes and then let's go to general and uh, let's go through and take a look at some of uh, the layouts here. So basically uh, as we scroll through this, click on appearance and you'll see that we're basically saying, hey, we want a wide uh, layout. Now, I don't know if they want boxed or wide, but we could change that uh, for them. We went with a minimalist style, um, and uh, but in this case, the, the, the website is wide, which means that everything we create will go full from left to right. Uh, if we boxed it, then it would just be that. that. It would be uh, boxy just like this it would be you know stop here on the on the right stop here on the left now the background color what we probably want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and make that white I could make that gold I could make it blue but my issue at the moment is those is that little image that is in the background so I'm gonna remove that uh, I don't necessarily want that at the moment so this is the background under the box this is the background uh, period so we could change that to a different color and then of course uh, this is our color accent now I would say that if we want to have that blue show up in the future and it gives us the option to go with uh, a color to just simply select the accent color and you'll see that throughout this it'll say which color do you want to use I don't have to type in a new color if I just tell the system uh, if I set it on this page as the accent color okay I did the gold uh, and see, I'm not sure if it's going to be gold or blue. Depending on where I am, I may go, oh, you know, this looks better if it's blue. Um, but at the moment, I'm just going to set it as the accent color, uh, as blue. Okay. And then uh, we have a couple of dividers, and you'll see those th uh, throughout the training. We may, we may cover some of those as well. And then we'll click Save. Now, we're going to save those settings. And here's what's great about this. You know, sometimes you'll save a setting and you'll go back and go, hey, that's not really quite what I was looking for. No problem. Don't sweat it, right? We'll go back in and um, let's go take a look at uh, the site and see if it's doing what we want it to do. Okay, so far, so good. So the blue is now gone. Uh, the home page is there. Now, there is a way to remove these uh, from the page. So if we're here at the home page, and we come up here and click on edit. Uh, if we click on edit. The way this works is, you know, we could scroll down. Obviously, we're going to put in some content. They haven't given us any yet, uh, but we may just go with a slideshow there. And uh, but we could have said hide that title where it said home. We could hide it, or we could put the menu underneath a fancy header. There's all kinds of stuff uh, we could do. Um, but but what I like about it, since it's a, a, a multi-purpose site, is the client might say, can you hide that? And I can say yes. Can you put in a page title instead? I can say yes. Can you add a slider on that you see? And that's what's important. And then it gives you, when you click on sliders, um, the different types of sliders that are uh, available. So uh, and I'll show you those. We'll go over and get those in in just, uh, in just a moment. Okay. So So at this point, now the slider is in. And um, here's our, uh, we've got something on the right hand side, but for the home page, I like to disable the sidebars. We got our right sidebar and left sidebar. I like to disable those uh, because I think the page should be full. But they may say on the front page, I want all that content on there, but I want a right hand side contact form where someone can reach it. So this is your widget section if, if you want to, if you want to use that. Um, and then you have the option here of uh, coming up with different uh, side widgets. Uh, for the site. You could use the one that's in the footer and duplicate it on the right or left or you could uh, just use the default sidebar uh, which is also over here in appearance and under the widget section. And you'll, if you're new to this, you'll get to know this stuff like the back of your hand. It just takes time um, to get to know it. Just like running a cash register uh, someplace new. Um, you just have to learn it. And once you learn it, you teach someone else, right? That's what I'm doing. So, all right, so that's that. Now, let's see. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to update that here. Okay. Okay, now that's all updated. So let's go back and take a look at the page. And I'm going to have to create uh, some slideshows uh, for that front page. And that's where the images are going to go. 
So let's go and do that. So we just pop back into the slider show section. I'm back in the dashboard. Uh, click on slideshow and then click here. There are no slideshows at the moment, or there at least shouldn't be. Yep, they didn't package any with it. So we can click add new. And essentially what we're going to wind up doing is we're going to create this is going to be main page slideshow. And you can call it what you want. Okay, that's going to be the main page slideshow. Now, what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to start to load in some images. So I'm going to go over and buy some images. And where I get all of my images for my clients is from here. Uh, and there is a link where you can click. And they're going to send us a few bucks or something like that if you buy it through the link we sent. Same price, though. Uh, they're a dollar an image. You pay $10 for the uh, month and they're going to give you 10 they're going to give you 10 images for that for that 10 bucks but if you need more images each image is a dollar and the reason I buy images from here I've never seen a flat rate a program for images before so these huge large gargantuan size images that you could use for almost anything are all still a dial a dollar so I don't know how they do that um, I just know that I use it I pay them and it works so uh, what we'll do is we'll log in right into the system and now we can start to look for images now luckily I asked them which images uh, they wanted I have about 14 downloads in there that means that um, I paid ten dollars and then I must have paid another ten bucks or five bucks or something and bought a few more um, but they don't expire which is really nice uh, at this time they don't expire so uh, I like to load up on them because uh, you can go to lots of other places and buy images and they can cost you five and ten bucks an image so uh, okay so luckily they told me which images they wanted and uh, so I'm going to go and find uh, let's see the numbers they gave me was uh, this looks like 404 uh, 60287 so let's see if that exists and we'll search through. Yep, it's the exact same image. Uh, and by the way, I'm going to try to show you what I'm working on here. I have a separate screen. And the way the separate screen is set up, um, the separate screen allows me to uh, to kind of see what they wanted. I have all their images. I have them in my uh, Dropbox file. And I have all the pages that they want. And I have all the images. And that's the numbers and all that cool stuff. And that's why you want two separate screens. Um, I don't know if it makes some people nauseous to have two separate screens or if it's just, um, you know, whatever it is. But I could have, I would love to have like 15. And it wouldn't bother me a bit. Because then I could put things on separate screens, complete future like, and see what's, see what I need to see at a glance uh, instead of doubling up all of my uh, windows. So here, I know this is one that they want. So what I'm going to do is I'm just simply going to download it. Uh, and when you talk about, yeah, so here it is. So, right, this comes down as a JPEG. Now, sometimes this will come down as a zip file. But this is the one that they sent me that they wanted. Uh, you can see the little watermark uh, with it. I'm going to download it without the watermark. So I'm going to click here, and I'm going to save it. And then I'm going to do the same thing for all the images. Okay, so naturally I paused it so I could download the images. I kind of made a decision that here with the purchased images, um, I grabbed this one, and obviously this is the one that's purchased. What I want to do is uh, I want to keep them separate. So I wanted to show you that. Uh, so these are the purchased images, and then I went to purchase another image. So I'm going to download uh, that one there as well. Whoops. Okay, so we're going to say no to that. Um, and... Uh, let's go in here okay and there it goes I'm gonna download that uh, file there brought a couple of other things too and I just downloaded this one uh, I wanna show you that this one came in a zip file so if you could see down here in the corner that one came in a zip file so I'm going to have to uh, open it within the folder and then move it for some reason it's big so they decided to uh, allow me to download it uh, as a zip file so um, I don't know what reason. I mean, obviously, it must be a really big file. Okay, so that one's in a zip file. Okay, great. So those are now sitting in uh, Dropbox. So this image right here, I just want to show you so you don't panic if you see this in a zip file or some other name, um, depending on whether you're on a Mac or a PC. Uh, you just want to simply click on that, and then you'll find it's the content here. Uh, you'll have to copy it 
and when you copy it you'll have to go back to the folder and then right click and paste it now that's the way I do it you might find another way to do it but this is the that's the image right there that was zipped into this system here and uh, so it's probably pretty big okay now so why do you so here's the thing like with dollar photos a photo club and all this other stuff the goal obviously is to share with you information that can help reduce your cost so right there instead of going out and spending four dollars and five dollars for big images uh, to create what you want you can get images for a dollar that's a savings right there I always like to point that out um, because I, my goal is to give you as much value as I as I possibly can so uh, here those are the images that they want and then I'm going to go back and let's figure out what they want to do with those images that's part of finishing off the first part and by the way so this is three I mean image size wise from dollar photos this is the 3500 by 3500 is pretty large okay but this one is 6000 by 6000 that's a big image we may not even be able to bring that into pick uh, into pick monkey to edit uh, to, to, but I got to find out where they want those images to go. But that's that's pretty sizable. Four thousand. I mean, these are really big, big images. But this specific one that came up at six thousand uh, is a pretty big uh, uh, image. Okay. Now, before we load these up for the front page, what we're going to need to do is um, at least take one or two of them into PicMonkey. However, the image that they sent me um, in the sample, and let's go back and take a look at that because clients do this from time to time um, they sent over what I call uh, a lifestyle picture so let me see if I can bring that into view they brought in a lifestyle picture now this lifestyle picture they want to have like a family and then you'll see down the right hand side left hand side excuse me um, are all the page names and things like that and obviously that'll go across the top but um, so what they did was they they put in a lifestyle picture so let me see if I can go and find one because they didn't tell me uh, the number or name for that uh, for that image. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back to Dollar Photos and uh, Photo Club, and I'm going to type in family here, right? And then I, and then you just simply search. And when you click on search, it's going to bring up all kinds of uh, images. I, I think what they were saying was, you know, it, some of those images they specifically gave me. Uh, to load in, uh, but then the other one was just they didn't give me a number. So I'm going to assume that it that I can put in whatever I think best fits and uh, when you're talking about a buck for a photo uh, that is not going to um, that is not going to destroy your deal uh, as you're working on it your profit in the deal uh, for a dollar so uh, but I so what I would do I would say you know so we're looking at you know possibly I would say I mean it's kind of a judgment call you know so so you could go with this one here you know obviously this is a smiling family or you could possibly go with this one um, I think I did see one more uh, that might be a really good one but you know again I might ask them if I'm really concerned about it uh, after the first one that I purchased I might come back and say hey no problem you know guys can you find a family picture uh, in there that you like but I would go with um, I would go with this one you know just I would put this one in and so I'm gonna go ahead and and by the way one of the other things you could do if you don't want to spend that 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 buck a little cheapo um, you could simply save uh, you could you could actually download this comp one and they'll give you a comp one it'll have a watermark on it it'll be really small like this um, and uh, from there you could load that into the system and they could look at it it's kinda grainy but you know for me I prefer to just just download it so I'm gonna download this one and then I'm gonna go over here to pick monkey and let's find this image and uh, it's pretty big uh, I'm gonna upload this image into pick monkey if I can great uh, it wasn't too big for PicMonkey and then you just have to work with the image and it's not that they want every single piece of the image uh, in there so you might want to start with uh, just simply resizing it so you could get it down to maybe you know 1200 um, and keep the ratios the same so now it's a little bit more manageable and then you want to come over here after you apply that and then you want to crop the image and again you just have to work with the image until you get it to where um, you want it to be and then I'll load it in okay we get over here and load it in and there you go the video is loaded in uh, the image is loaded in in the next video I'll show you how we customize this for the front page